Hey, Steve here. I'm my favorite restaurant here in Barcelona. I, I want to show you something. Uh, it's this thing called AppCat. I, I want to make an app for my friend here who owns the restaurant. I'm going to show you how you can make an app for any friend or customer in just a few minutes. Here are some apps that I made earlier. Uh, let me make one here for Rafa. These are all my templates. There's tons of those here that will really make your app look fantastic. Let me just preview them in full size. And now I can just swipe through them from uh, left to right, right to left, and look at them and see what the, this looks actually great. Let's use this one as a nice restaurant. So you pick that theme, and it just instantly creates an app. Now the app is empty. Let's put some stuff in it. Let's start with the name of the app that's going to be written uh, on the consumer's uh, home screen. Uh, here it is on the menu. So let me just enter that. Uh, this will be the name that uh, will also be seen inside the opening animation of the app that we're creating. And it'll also create a custom URL, a vanity URL, in which uh, the owner's customers can download the app later. Here it is. Let's get some cool stuff going here, like the icon. The icon is that button that will later sit on uh, everybody's home screen. Um, you can just use the camera uh, if you don't have the original art ready. And take a picture, for instance, of this menu that is obviously the logo. You can zoom and pinch, and it'll instantly make that icon or button. Let's make an interactive uh, photo gallery that'll uh, go into the app. You can pick from all the photos that you've taken. I've taken some pictures of the meal that I've had earlier. And I can just add as many as I want. Or, again, I can use the camera for that. I love that piece of bread, for instance, that's left. So, just taking a picture of that. Again, I can zoom to just fit it. Let's put a map inside that app. Just about any address will do, and this way customers can find the restaurant. Any address will work, and this is what it'll look like. There's tons of other features that I can add, like Twitter and Facebook, uh, as well as live streams for radio stations, and of course, a quick dial button so people can uh, easily make reservations. You can even post news and add RSS feeds. Let's go live with us. We just hit publish, and I think the app is about ready. Now, before we deliver it, uh, why don't we just install it on our own iPhone just to check if everything's okay? There it is, and you see the icon that I've made earlier with the camera. Let's open it up. <laughs> check out the cool uh, starting animation here. Fantastic. And uh, the menu, of course, uh, has this huge call button that can be triggered. And here you can go to all the things that we made earlier, like the photos and uh, you know sharing by social networks. That's pretty fantastic already. I, I find the navigation menu a bit too conservative. Let, let me change it. AppCat has this really cool modern navigation thing that's highly unique to AppCat. So I'm updating it. And it'll update on everybody's iPhone who has that app. And have a look at it now. Here's the opening animation, and here's that cool modern menu. How, how cute is that? Now, everybody who has that app can now share it just by tapping on the bird. Remember that live stream we entered? Well, here it is. This is also great for radio stations, so it streams audio too. Cool, I think the app is ready for prime time. Let's deliver it by email to the restaurant's owner. Hey, Rafa, check your email. I made an app for you. Sent it to you. Here. I really made an app on your iPhone. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. Man. Thank you very much. much time, I tell uh, you. There is on me tonight. Sure, man. Anytime. <laughs>